how to fix issue with the HP computer uh, shut down and then we start again so this is the HP compact D330 computer uh, basically um, every time I try to shut down it's uh, we start again within a, a few seconds so to fix this problem you need to uh, press on the CMOS reset button within the computer so you can see here if I'm going to try to shut it down so I just turn off the computer and here it is, you can see it's going to try to restart again. So we need to first uh, shut down the computer completely and remove the power cord. So you can see here, I just shut down and then it reboot again. So you can press and hold to the power button for 5 seconds or more and this will force the computer to shut down. If it doesn't shut down, uh, you need to pull the power plug. Now as you can see here, I press and hold. Now it's not shutting down, so we're going to need to pull the power plug at the back here. So that shuts down the computer. Once the computer is shut down, you need to remove a screws at the back. So this is a black screws here that you need to remove. And using this clip here, we're going to pull back. And this will allow you to open up the top cover. Once the top cover is removed, we can push on the reset button so the CMOS uh, battery is just right here so this is the bias battery so looking at the front of the computers so that's the front going down just above the floppy disk and in here there is a yellow button so I'm just going to zoom in so you can see it's a bit dark but right there, right here you can see is the yellow button just below there. It's right next to the power battery. We need to push onto this button to reset it. So push and hold for a few seconds. So I just push. Push and hold for maybe around 5 seconds or so. This allow your CMOS to reset itself. Okay, let go. We're gonna plug the power back in and give it another task. So we plug in the power, the computer start up. You can see it's performing some tests right here. Uh, it's testing the memory. I have uh, 2.5 gigs, so it's going to be a while. But basically, once you press on that button, uh, you should be able to uh, shut down the computer. Okay, once the computer has been finished uh, checking the RAM, you need to uh, press on the F10 key to go into the BIOS and set up the date and time again. So we set up the date and time. Okay, then we go in and set the date and time. So I set the month. The day so 22 and then the year and you just set the year and press on the F10 key to save and I'll save changes and exit so we start the computer now so you can see the computer is booting up So it's booting up into Windows. We just wait for it to boot up and then we're going to test with the shutdown to see if it works. Okay, so now, so that's the sound there that the Windows is booting up. So it's booting up right now. So we're going to try to shut down. So turn off the computer. So we choose shut down. So that's a locking off sound. So the Windows is shutting down, and hopefully this time it shut down for good. It won't uh, switch it back on. Okay, if we're setting the CMOS battery, does not help with your uh, computer, and it's still restarting. What you want to do is you go into my computer so right click on my computers and choose properties in properties you want to click on the advanced tab and under the start up and recovery click on settings and make sure you deselect the 
automatic restart checkbox here and click on OK, click on OK, then shut down the computer and this time it should work so for some reason the windows might think that it's crashing as we're starting so what you want to do is to um, totally shut it down and um, clear the auto restart so when your computer shuts down it won't restart again so I'm just waiting to see if it's restarting and yep it has stopped so it shuts down properly and that's it thanks for watching this video